Hey, what is going on, you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape, and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So today I bring you guys loot from 10 hours of Hydra, and this is not to be confused with the alchemical Hydra. These are the smaller variants of that boss, requiring 95 Slayer to kill. This is definitely one of the highest Slayer level related monsters that I've ever done a loot video on before. And all of this was done off task, so I really just wanted to see how much money I can make on an hourly basis just AFKing these small little Hydras with a Dragon Hunter Lance and Max Gear. And really see if it's worth killing when you're not on a Slayer task. See if we can get any rares and make as much money as we can. Before we get started in today's video, though, we do have some quick words from our sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Do you like elves? That's a dumb question. Everyone likes elves, and that's why there are so many kinds. Light elves, wood elves, big elves, little elves, you name it, there's an elf for it. Well, Raid Shadow Legends isn't going to be left out, and it's got some nice, nasty, dark elves for you. In Teleria, we've got two kinds of elves. They used to just be elves, but about 700 years ago, Syroth tempted some of them away from the light. Not with evil powers or anything scary, he actually tempted them with art and philosophy. When the Arbiter found out they'd been tempted by Syroth, she really got worried about Syroth's influences and begged the elves to stop. Some of them did, but others doubled down, and that's where the dark cult stuff started growing. Naturally, it didn't take long for the war to start. The High Elves won, but not in any permanent way. They keep trying to fix the relationship between the High Elves and the Dark Elves, but we're 700 years in, and they're still not getting along. Time doesn't seem to heal every wound, but if you'd ask me, I'd say the Dark Elves are awesome enough already. They're like a legion of evil assassins and warlocks, and who doesn't love a bad guy? Just check out these amazing graphics on these elves. That's truly one of the things I love about Raid Shadow Legends is the attention to detail on every champion and every part of this game. If you're curious about what's new in Raid, this month they have a non-stop schedule of special events and activities, including an absolutely jam-packed Halloween lineup towards the end of the month. We're talking big rewards, tournaments against other players, special fragment events to get some brand new champions including one very spooky Halloween champion, and much more. Raid is bigger, busier, and better than ever, and there are some giant updates coming very soon, so ladies and gentlemen, it's never been a better time to get started. If you want to get a huge head start in Raid, all you have to do is hit the link in the description or scan my QR code and you will get this amazing champion, Chinoro, who's amazing in the Doom Tower. 200,000 silver. 1 XP booster, 1 energy refill, and 1 ancient shard so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get into game. All of this treasure will be waiting for you here, and it's that easy. Just click the link in the description, and I will see you in game. Nothing like a good Raid Shadow Legends ad to start your day, am I right? Well, either way, I do appreciate you guys watching that. Thank you guys very much. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's video, 10 Hours of Normal Hydras. This monster was released into the game January 10th, 2019, and like I said in the beginning of the video, it does require 95 Slayer to kill. To my surprise, you can actually kill these things off task. Uh, for some reason, even though I've done a video on these on the day of the release, I thought that you had to be on the Slayer task in order to kill them. You actually do not. So I was curious to see just how much I can make here not being on task, not getting any Slayer XP. Speaking of Slayer, I did want to go ahead and try to use a cannon here for my first inventory while I was killing these things, because I did see some people do it when they are on Slayer task seems to me that using a cannon here is just not that worthwhile. Um, you know, these hydras are spread across this room and they almost never move. You usually have to go to them to attack them. They do have a range and magic based attack. So with that being said, the cannon can only do so much. And after my first inventory, I just decided to bank it. On the side, I was doing some infernal eel fishing because this is really AFK and, you know, you just don't have to click too much. The only time you're really going to take damage here is, of course, if you're not praying, you will obviously get hit with whatever you're not praying. For this whole video, I was protecting magic because I was using Justicier, and this makes it so that the range hits from these hydras isn't that high, so I can absorb all that damage. This goes for the food. I was bringing five sharks and five karambwans every single inventory for those double eats, and on top of this, the Ceridome and Godsword special attack was has given me a lot of HP and prayer throughout the video. These Hydras actually start off with a random combat style when you start attacking them, and then every three hits they do switch. So it can be anything from starting with magic to then going to range, or starting with range and then going to magic. I'm sure most of us who have had this task before and have actually killed the small ones all know that you don't have to pray switch here. I mean, I was just camping one prayer the whole time, and with a good inventory of food, I could stay here pretty much forever. 
The reason I was banking for this video was because of the bones. The current price of those bones worth 4.8k. That's pretty good for a price of a bone these days since dragon bones are going down right now. So that is why you're always going to want to bank these hydra bones if you're trying to make as much money as you can. If you're a max main and you don't really care much, then just bring a bone crusher necklace and you'll get a ton of prayer XP while killing these things. Ah, that's good coffee. And I'll also say that uh, the people that I did see on Slayer Task here all using high alchemy. So if you want to bring high alks here, you can expect some pretty good alchables such as a rune kite shield, rune plate bodies, mystic pieces, black dehyde chaps, battle staves. So if you're looking for more kills per hour, definitely bring along high alk with a rune pouch and a bone crusher. Might not make as much money, but you'll still kill a lot of these things faster. Moving on though, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the rares that you can expect from these small hydras. So firstly, we do have the uncommon rares, which I would just consider to be clue scrolls, which the hard clue is 1 in 128. We'll see a couple of those throughout the video, and the elites is 1 in 512. Unfortunately, I didn't get a single elite during this one. If you are using Konar for these Hydras, which I'm pretty sure you have to be, uh, you can get a Brimstone Key from these things, which is 1 in 64. And while it's always nice to get Brimstone Keys, the main rare that I was looking for during this video was the Brimstone Ring, and that is combining the Hydra's Eye, Heart, and Fang, and creating the ring from that. Now, I was not the luckiest with these rares because I was not on Slayer Task throughout this video, and if you are on Slayer Task, you have a lot higher chance to get any rare that I just mentioned. And there's also such things as the Hydra Tail, which is 1 in 5,000 when you're not on task, but 1 in 1,000 when you are on Slayer Task here. We have 200 to 400 Dragon Throwing Axes, which for me it was 1 in 10,000 to receive that, but if you're on task it's 1 in 2,000. So you guys get the point, and as it goes for the Brimstone Ring piece, I had a 1 in 1,800 chance at each of those pieces, but if I had this as a Slayer Task, it would have been 1 in 361. So in other words, by not being on task, you uh, definitely decrease your odds to make more money here but that's okay i was more so interested in the profit per hour without the rares or if we were lucky enough to get them with the rares looking at the drop table of the hydra on the old school runescape wiki i did find it pretty interesting that there are so many random drops that you can get from this hydra and it does stand out to me because you do need such a high slayer level just to kill these small ones yet you can expect drops such as 70 fire runes or 50 water runes even seeing Guams on the floor, or Marantels, or Taromans, such low tier herbs and low amounts of low tier runes, really makes it so that you won't be picking up everything you see on the ground here, but, but I tried my best to pick up everything, even the low tier stuff, just to kind of get an overall glimpse of what we can expect from killing these things for 10 hours. Alongside this, I was getting those hard clue scrolls, and I did save all the caskets towards the end for that, so we will go ahead and add that onto the price check. Such an interesting drop table, just seeing dragon long swords and mystic robe bottoms and rune plate bodies it's almost like PKing at east dragons in 2005 and that's what you'd see on the ground once you kill someone i'll give the uh, drop table a point for nostalgia but yeah other than that it's uh, could be improved i think i think when this update came out with the drakes and the worms and the hydra i remember thinking to myself that the worm had the best drop table out of those three monsters and all these years later it really hasn't changed much the price of the brimstone ring that you can get here has gone down since these have come out obviously i think it's around two mil now now used to be probably over five so this may not be the most profitable monster to kill for such a high slayer level requirement you know you might be looking at skeletal wyverns which is 72 slayer you can probably make similar money per uh, hour there i'm imagining but either way i got to use my dragon hunter lance and we were hitting constant 40s and 50s here so it was a pretty good experience pretty afk and laid back experience I did manage to hit 59 million at defense XP, so we are coming up on 60 mil in that, as well as hitting 61 million attack XP. There really hasn't been many updates, as I just said, about this Hydra boss uh, in terms of the drops, but I will say that in 2019, they did change the poison splat attacks that these Hydras throw at you, and they halved the damage from them. So that's really good. Back when it was not halved, that could kill you very quickly. But thanks to the mutagen, I did not have to worry about the poison the whole entire video. So that was really nice. Even when those poison splats came out, I could just sit there and probably take like 10 damage, which isn't too bad. 
Well, we do have to come to a close pretty soon here. The 10-hour grind will be over, and uh, this did take about three days to do. I know it may seem a little crazy, three days for 10 hours, but I was doing a lot of things on the side on my main. Sort of came back to these Hydras whenever I just wanted to AFK for a couple hours. So, sadly, I don't see a rare yet, but we do have one more inventory to do. So maybe, just maybe, if we are lucky enough, we will see a rare on the ground. And ladies and gentlemen, leave it to the last trip where we see our first and only rare throughout this whole video, the infamous Hydra's Tail. With the 10 hour of Hydra being completed, we are going to go do the price check. But yeah, that Hydra's Tail is 1 in 5,000 off task. So yeah, looks like I got a rare, just uh, not, not the greatest one. That's just used to make the Dragon Bone Necklace about 100k. So I'm not going to retire just yet, but it's better than getting absolutely nothing. Kind of reminds me of our last loot video getting a rare at the very end of that one too. But nevertheless, here we go for the first price check. Everything coming out to be just about 6.4 million. You have 3 million mill of that just in the bones so it kind of tells you how important it is to pick those up if you're looking to multiply your profit moving on to the second price check we have all of the unfortunate seeds that the hydra drops not worth much money at all as well as the bolt tips but the dragon bones did come in clutch for a nice little bonus of 400k on average, I was getting about 60 kills an hour. That can be more, just depending on if you're using high aux or if you're banking. So it just really depends on your combat level, if you're on task, etc. But I was averaging about 55 to 60. And overall, it did go by pretty quickly, and it was very laid back. So let's go ahead and open our clue scrolls. I accidentally opened one, and it was about 120k, but we still have two left to go. It looks like uh, we didn't get too many good things from those clues, but nevertheless, could have been a third age plate body. Adding the 200k from the clue scrolls means that we made 7 mil exactly in 10 hours of Hydra, 700k an hour, maybe minus 100k an hour for supplies, but that's pretty good, I'd say. The only downside is you need a really high Slayer level to come here, but uh, it is good to know that it's decent money. So maybe next time we'll see some more rares, but until then, thank you guys very much for taking the time today, and I'll see you soon with Ancient Wyverns, Corrupted Gauntlet, or Addy Dragons. One of those. Until next time, guys, thank you very much. Mr. No Sleep, out.